Shortly after the attack, the search for survivors and the dead. This rubble was once the house of Gaza's police chief, Taysir al Batsh. He survived the assault and is believed to be in a critical but stable condition. But many members of his family were killed. In the chaos, rescuers used a combination of heavy machinery and their bare hands to try and get inside. Officials in the Gaza Health Ministry were in no doubt that the house was deliberately targeted by Israeli forces. It's a new massacre being committed against our people in the Gaza Strip. This time the target was the house of the al Bach family. The house is nearby al Harmin Mosque in al Tofa area. People were trying to get out of the mosque after they finished Ramadan night prayers. But suddenly they saw the house under intensive shelling. Officials say this incident has caused the single greatest loss of life since the Israeli army began its attack on Gaza last week. The Israeli army also said its special forces raided a site used to fire long-range rockets at Israel. There was an exchange of gunfire with fighters in Gaza as they came close to the shore. It was an intense night of airstrikes and by daylight the damage was clear. The fires of the early morning were still smoldering. The Israeli army has told people living in the north of Gaza to leave their homes. They say they'll be launching an operation there to clear the area of Hamas's weapons capabilities. And the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees tells us they have opened multiple schools here in Gaza City to provide shelter for the thousands that are expected to heed that call.